Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I used to be the person that thought that learning English wasn't for me. But one day I had to meet a Stephen Wolfram because I won a national contest and I had to tell him about my project. I couldn't do this because I didn't speak English. At this point I decided I wanted to learn English. And I did it in a short period of time. So today I'm gonna share with you my journey and tips that help me to learn English fast. My first tip is to set a specific goal. You have to answer, why do you want to learn English and when do you want to make it happen? You may want to speak English for traveling, studying, or improving your business. Doesn't matter, you have to state a goal. Setting a specific goal will keep you motivated to continue making progress. And my goal was to apply to universities like MIT, Cornell University, the University uh, of Illinois at Champaign. That's why today I'm recording this video here at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. When I set that goal, I couldn't speak English at all, but a year later I was ready to apply. My second tip is to build the habit of taking English lessons every day. If you want to learn English, you must take an English lesson for vocabulary, grammar and pronunciation every day. If you do it on your own, it may be faster than when you are attending an English school. But here I have to say that you have to have self-discipline. It is easier to skip days because you don't have time or a clear goal, but it will slow your progress. In my case, I will dedicate most of my day to speak English and to learn English, but I have to say that I had a strong self-discipline because I knew I didn't want to spend another year before I was ready for graduate school. My third tip is to immerse yourself in an English environment. Learning English is not just about learning grammar. Approving an English course doesn't guarantee you're gonna be able to speak English with a native speaker, so I advise you to travel abroad. It will help you to take your English to another level. When you travel abroad, make sure you live in a home state because you will be interacting with native speakers. Making native speaker friends is not easy. It is even more difficult if your English is not good and you are shy. In my case, I traveled to the US when I started to learn English. Later, I took some math classes and business classes because those classes gave me free time to study English on my own. But I have to say that preparing for the TOEFL and the GRE helped me to improve my English skills like crazy. Especially for the GRE because the English there was way more difficult than any other English test. For people that don't know, a GRE test is a test that you have to take to get into graduate school in the US. If you can travel to be a volunteer, you can always uh, get those kind of problems and they will take you to the next level because you are gonna have a uh, real experience with native speakers. Learning English in a community college or a university is way better than attending an English school. So I strongly recommend you to do that. I know many people that don't have the opportunity of traveling abroad. No worries, I learned most of my English on my own. And I know many people that have been living in the US for over 10 years and they don't speak English. Because living in an English speaking country doesn't guarantee you are gonna be able to speak English or you are gonna become fluent in English. I advise you to create your, or to simulate your own English environment. And that is my fourth tip. In order to do that, wake up and have a daily routine. You can always write a diary. You can write whatever you did in a day, the day before, or what you are grateful for. Later, you can start to read books at least 15 minutes. In my case, I will do that for 45 minutes. You can get a Google uh, Home. This is very useful. This is a Google Home that you should get. I usually talk to Google. For example, hey Google, could you tell me a story? All right. This one's called Hansel and Gretel, and it's from Story Nori on Google Play Books. Story Nori presents Hansel and Gretel. Hey Google, Long ago. thank you. I aim to please. You should definitely follow native speakers. Follow it on Instagram, on YouTube. It is such a great opportunity because they are speaking English all the time and they are speaking all day. So you can always just uh, open Instagram and practice your English, practice your listening and reading as well. Make sure you always have something new. For example, you have to play an audiobook or a postcard while you are doing the dishes or doing whatever you are doing. You're gonna pick up new words. Try to enjoy English platforms like Reddit 
you can have discussions, try to find virtual friends, and try to play. For example, yesterday I was playing League of Legends and I learned to say an enemy has been slain, and that was great, I learned a new word. You can also find friends to play and just chat in English all the time. My five tip is to have native speakers friends. It is the best advice I can give you because they have helped me so much, more than attending an English school and more than studying on my own because they can correct your accent, they can suggest you to speak better, they can improve your pronunciation, they always make you explain yourself better so that helps you and you are always learning with them they are patient, they are always there for you. I am always talking to my friends in the morning, afternoon and at night, so I never stop practicing my English. I realized that many people that hang out with people that speak their same language didn't make progress fast. So I strongly recommend you that if you travel abroad, try to look for people that are not from your country and don't speak your same language. In my case, I will always have native speakers around because I live in a home state. I was obligated to speak in English all the time and whenever they were talking, I will participate in the discussions and always learn new vocabulary and new accents. My sister built the habit of speaking to native speakers since she was a teenager and now her English is very great. My sixth tip is to practice speaking, uh, listening, reading and writing daily. For the speaking, you can talk to yourself. Hello guys, uh, whenever you are alone or you just have some free time, you can start to talk to yourself. In my case, I always talk to myself when I am going home. And I start to, start to say what I'm gonna do later. Um, for example, now I'm gonna have some meatballs with noodles for dinner and I'm gonna go back quickly to my house because I want to have some time to finish my paper review. I also want to do some exercise. Today is my leg day and I want to do some meditation before I go to sleep. You can also talk to yourself whenever you are doing like grocery shopping. For the writing, I advise you to write every day. Like I said, you can write a, a diary. In my case, I will always uh, write an essay. Not every day, but I will try to do it every day. For the writing, I will always use Grammarly. It tells you your mistakes and it also provides you suggestions. You can also hire an assistant. In order to know your English level, I will recommend you to use the Cambridge platform. It helps you to check your English. It also keeps track of your progress. As a native speaker to check your writing, I realized that they have more suggestions to say than a teacher that is not a native speaker. They don't know your culture, they don't understand your language, so you really have to explain yourself what you are writing and that is very, very good. My seventh tip is to be patient and keep going. Learning English is like learning to play an instrument. You cannot just learn grammar and become fluent in English the next month. You need to be patient. In my case, I wanted to give up because I thought I wasn't making progress, but the truth is that this is part of the process. And I have to say that I know many people that have been living here in the US for over 20 years and they are still learning new vocabulary. So if you don't know a specific word, if you don't understand something, don't get scared. This is just part of the process. You have to keep going and keep motivated. I started to make those videos because many people helped me when I was starting to learn English. And this is my way to give it back. So if you like this video, please make sure you give it a like and share this video. Thank you for watching my video. I really hope you find it helpful. And if you try some of my tips, please let me know how it goes. Finally, get clear about what you want and what has been preventing you from getting it. Change your state of mind, keep positive, and don't forget to never give up. Bye.